Pierce Brosnan, known for his roles in James Bond movies, has left a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. Have you ever reminisced about the first movie you watched featuring him? Brosnan's charm and charisma set him apart from his peers of the time. What do you think makes him stand out? Share your cherished memories or personal experiences with this legendary actor in the comments below. Stay tuned for some interesting, amusing, and poignant facts about his life. Keep watching this video for more. In the realm of cinema, there's an actor whose diverse roles have left an indelible mark on audiences worldwide. From portraying a suave spy to a charming thief, he showcased his talent across various genres, captivating viewers with each performance. One standout project for him is a series of action-packed spy movies. In these films, he embodies the iconic character of a secret agent, winning over fans with his charisma and style. Stepping away from espionage, he takes on the role of a wealthy businessman involved in a thrilling art heist. Here, he effortlessly blends charm with cunning, leaving audiences spellbound by his performance. In a departure from his usual roles, he delves into the realm of dark comedy, portraying a hitman grappling with existential questions. This film highlights his versatility as an actor, seamlessly transitioning between genres while maintaining a powerful presence on screen. For those seeking family-friendly entertainment, there's a heartwarming comedy where he shines in a supporting role alongside a beloved comedian. Together, they deliver laughs and warmth, showcasing his comedic timing and versatility once again. In summary, exploring his filmography is a journey through action, drama, comedy, and suspense, offering a glimpse into the depth of his talent. Whether he's playing a spy, a thief, or a hitman, one thing remains constant his ability to captivate audiences with his compelling performances. Known for his role as Thomas Crown in The Thomas Crown Affair, he displayed a subtle nod to his past. When bidding farewell to Catherine, portrayed by René Russo, he tapped the limo's hood, a signature move reminiscent of his character's interactions in Remington Steel. He's not just an actor, he's a businessman too. He owns Irish Dreamtime, his production company, which debuted with The Nephew in 1998. Despite his prominence, he remained willing to take on smaller roles, as seen when he agreed to play Stu Dunmire in Mistress Doubtfire in 1993. Chris Columbus, the director, praised his acting prowess. Pierce Brosnan's career is a testament to his versatility and dedication to the craft. The last time an actor chosen by the original producer, Albert R. Broccoli, portrayed James Bond was in Goldeneye. Before that, in the TV show Remington Steel, he played the main character alongside his former spouse Cassandra Harris, who acted as Felicia. Their on-screen chemistry added an interesting layer to their character's relationship. Later, in the movie Dante's Peak, he took his personal camera to film a scene where he investigates the volcano's surroundings. The director, Roger Donaldson, confirmed this personal touch, showing his dedication to his role. This scene, shot with his own camera, gave a unique perspective to the film and highlighted his commitment to creating memorable moments. Throughout his career, he showed versatility in roles, smoothly moving from TV to film. His collaboration with Donaldson and Dante's Peak is just one example of his hands-on approach, leaving a lasting impression on the characters he played. Goldeneye, as the culmination of his Bond legacy, is proof of his ability to embody roles and captivate audiences worldwide. His work continues to be celebrated by fans and critics alike, making him a well-respected figure in the world of cinema. In summary, whether it was his dynamic partnership with Harris and Remington Steele, his hands-on approach in Dante's Peak, or his memorable portrayal of James Bond in Goldeneye, he left a lasting impact on entertainment. His contribution to film is recognized and appreciated, making him a distinguished figure in the world of cinema. Known for his memorable roles in popular TV shows and movies, he effortlessly brought characters to life, leaving a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. Playing Remington Steele, a charming detective with a passion for solving crimes inspired by classic films, he kept viewers entertained with his cleverness and style. In the beloved film Mistress Doubtfire, his performance as Stuart Dunmire received praise from director Chris Columbus. His undeniable charm earned him the title of Sexiest Man Alive in 2001, as recognized by People magazine. With a talent that appeals to people of all ages, his charisma continues to captivate audiences around the globe. Crafted with finesse and skill, his performances highlight his lasting impact on the entertainment world. In one famous TV show, he played a school principal named Seymour Skinner, which was a nod to another character he portrayed in a movie. In a different movie, he acted as a character who had to learn golf for a scene. Also, he played James Bond in a movie where there's a thrilling chase scene involving a tank. 
These roles show how good he is at acting in different situations. He's really good at playing different kinds of characters, whether they're funny or serious. His roles stick in people's minds because of how well he plays them. Whether he's making people laugh on TV or starring in action-packed movies, he's always entertaining. Fans and critics both love his work, showing that he's a talented actor who's here to stay. And that's it. Pierce Brosnan is known for his great acting skills and memorable performances. In Mistress Doubtfire, he played Stuart Dunmire. During filming, Robin Williams, his co-star, often tried to break his concentration. Williams would make sexually suggestive comments to distract him, especially during scenes like when Brosnan's character was attempting to choke on a shrimp. In The Thomas Crown Affair, he portrayed Thomas Crown. Interestingly, both the original and the remake featured actors from the James Bond series. In the remake, it was him, while the original starred Yafit Kato, who also appeared in Live and Let Die. Moreover, Jane Seymour from the original was also in Live and Let Die, taking over a role from Ali Mackraw, Steve McQueen's ex-wife. He is a huge fan of Doctor Who. In the making of Mistress Doubtfire, he faced a tough decision when he couldn't become James Bond due to certain contract issues. The director, Chris Columbus, firmly believed he could pull off the suave role. Despite the setback, he eventually took on the iconic British spy in four movies, winning praise and nominations for awards like BAFTA and Golden Globes. The Orange 2001 film survey recognized his undeniable influence, highlighting his importance in British cinema. Even after the initial challenge in Mistress Doubtfire, he successfully navigated various roles, proving his versatility and making a lasting impact on the entertainment world. His career, guided by a director's belief and his own dedication, led to a series of memorable performances that will be remembered for generations. In summary, Pierce Brosnan's journey from missing out on James Bond to his celebrated portrayal of the character reflects resilience and the unpredictable nature of a Hollywood career. His influence on British cinema is unmatched, showcasing the lasting effect of a talent recognized and celebrated worldwide. After the passing of his wife Cassandra Harris' first husband in 1986, Brosnan stepped into a parental role, adopting Harris' children, Charlotte and Christopher. This act marked a significant commitment to family, setting the stage for the challenges life would later present. Transitioning to his role as James Bond in GoldenEye, he collaborated with director Martin Campbell, describing him as warrior-like in his approach. The shared passion between the two contributed to the success of the film, shaping his portrayal of the character. However, life took a tragic turn on December 28, 1991, the day after celebrating their 11th wedding anniversary. Cassandra Harris, his wife, succumbed to ovarian cancer, passing away in his arms. The cruel twist of fate repeated years later when Charlotte Harris' daughter and his stepdaughter also fell victim to the same disease in 2013. These personal challenges underscore the depth of his life, shaping not only his career, but also his profound experiences with love and loss. Close friends with Barbara Streisand and Meryl Streep, he shared personal bonds with fellow actors beyond the screen. Moving from personal connections to professional feats, Brosnan showcased his daring side in the Thomas Crown affair as Thomas Crown, handling his own stunts, notably during a riveting boat crash scene. Transitioning seamlessly from one iconic role to another, he assumed the mantle of James Bond in GoldenEye. Amidst the Bond legacy, an interesting detail emerged rumors circulated that his contract barred him from donning a tuxedo outside the Xur-7 realm. However, defying such constraints, Brosnan did just that and the mirror has two faces. In these instances, Pierce Brosnan not only demonstrated his ability to build strong connections, but also his willingness to break the mold, challenging contractual limitations to bring depth to his characters. In the early 1980s, he took on the role of Thomas Crown in the TV series Remington Steel where his character often referenced classic films to crack cases. Notably, in episode 15, he mentions the 1968 movie The Thomas Crown Affair starring Steve McQueen and Faye Dunaway. Later on, he became the third actor to portray James Bond in more than two films, following in the footsteps of Sean Connery and Roger Moore. Another name joined this exclusive list later, Daniel Craig. Moving away from espionage, Brosnan showcased his versatility as Stuart Dunmire and Mistress Doubtfire. In one scene, Stu comments on Mistress Doubtfire's British accent, an amusing touch given Brosnan's Irish roots. This actor's journey from solving crimes in a TV series to becoming an iconic secret agent and then adding humor in a family comedy underscores his diverse acting skills. In a captivating turn of events, a familiar face graced the screen as a character named Thomas Crown. The film marked a reunion with director John McTiernan, 
who had previously collaborated with the actor in his debut movie, Nomads, over a decade earlier. Following this, our lead took on the role of Stuart Dunmeyer in another memorable flick. In this particular movie, a certain character wisely declared, a classic never dies. This sentiment seemed to foreshadow our protagonist's later stint as a suave British spy in films like Tomorrow Never Dies. This role proved to be a game changer for our actor, who experienced a resurgence in popularity after a lull following the conclusion of a TV series in 1982. The boost from the aforementioned movie paved the way for our lead to step into the shoes of the iconic James Bond in GoldenEye. Just two years later, this pivotal role breathed new life into our actor's career, setting the stage for the unforgettable portrayal of the suave British spy. And so, a star once again ascended, leaving an indelible mark on the world of cinema. In the world of movies, there's an actor who really stands out. He's famous for playing a cool spy and a caring stepdad. In one movie, a character talks about her late husband, who had a crash with a popular Irish beer truck, hinting at the actor's background. His on-screen look is carefully put together with fancy suits and classy accessories that show he pays attention to the details. He's been in lots of movies bringing characters to life and getting rewarded for it. People all over the world love his performances, making him a big deal in Hollywood. Besides being a great actor, he's also a fashion icon, inspiring many fans with his stylish and timeless choices. Every new role he takes on, he owns the screen, showing he can play all sorts of characters and proving he's a Hollywood legend. It's no wonder people still celebrate and respect his career. He's left a lasting impression on the film industry for generations to come. In the realm of casting for a certain famous role, there was a time of uncertainty before a renowned actor stepped into the spotlight. The character in question saw changes too, adding layers to the story. The actor, known for his charm and talent, became a pivotal figure in the saga. His portrayal not only brought a fresh feel to the character, but also showcased how the spy evolved over time in the world of movies. Audiences were captivated, and the impact of his performance endures. Embarking on the journey from a popular TV series to the world of secret agents, the path of the actor involved a twist of fate. A director, passionate about the renowned spy character, felt disheartened when contractual constraints prevented the actor from seizing the coveted role. Despite this setback, the director recognized the actor's talent during their collaboration on another project and envisioned them as a fitting choice for the spy character. In a surprising turn of events, the actor was recommended for the role in 1995 marking a modest yet significant chapter in the character's legacy. On a personal note, the actor became a naturalized U.S. citizen in 2004, a pivotal moment in their life at the U.S. District Courthouse in Los Angeles. Maintaining a connection to their Irish roots, they hold dual citizenship and received a special title in 1999, a nod to the bond with their hometown. While their primary residence is now in Malibu, California, ties to Ireland remain integral to their identity. In a departure from previous actors in the spy role, the actor stands out as the only married one who navigated the complexities of matrimony without the need for divorce. This unique aspect adds a distinctive layer to their personal narrative in the spy character's world. In 1994, stepping into the famed role of James Bond was a significant moment. The announcement took place at the Regent Hotel in London on June 8th. Clad in a full beard, the actor presented the new face of Sir Seven just before gearing up for a role in Robinson Crusoe, set to commence production the following day. A decade later, in 2004, he showcased his political leanings by backing John Kerry in the presidential election. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood, the actor engaged in the democratic process, throwing his support behind a political figure. Returning to his Bond days, the world is not enough underwent script alterations. Early versions featured a Polynesian insurance investigator, ultimately transformed to avoid similarities with the actor's on-screen counterpart in the Thomas Crown Affair. The characters Julieta da Vinci and Dr. Molly Warmflash also underwent script adjustments, evolving into Sashenka Firo and Dr. Greytrex, respectively. In these instances, his journey traverses the realms of film and politics, leaving a lasting impact on both. Amidst the Bond franchise, Brosnan's departure was not a voluntary exit. Following negotiations for a fifth film, producers opted not to renew his contract, marking him as the only Bond to conclude involuntarily. In the world is not enough, Brosnan's Bond initially displayed flirtatious dynamics with Dr. Christmas Jones, but revisions toned down this aspect to enhance the tension with Elektra. Born shortly after the debut of the first Bond novel, Brosnan became the first Bond actor born after the character's creation. It's a unique distinction in the Bond legacy, 
In the journey of acting, two well-known roles were shared by Sean Connery and another actor. One of these roles was James Bond, portrayed by Connery in various films, while the other actor took on the character in several movies as well. Both actors also played King Arthur in different productions. During the 1960s, this actor attended Elliott Comprehensive School in Putney. His early life was marked by family challenges as his parents separated when he was very young. Raised by his grandparents until their passing, he then moved among relatives until finding stability with someone else. Finally settling with his mother in Putney, his life took a positive turn when she met and married someone who became a significant figure for him. Introduced to the world of Bond through a movie outing with this figure, the actor found inspiration to pursue acting. This sparked his interest and eventually led him to the role he's known for today. In summary, this actor's life and career were influenced by his roles as James Bond and King Arthur, his schooling in Putney, and the family dynamics that shaped his early years. In the world of entertainment, actors often find themselves intertwined in interesting connections and behind-the-scenes stories. One such example is the journey of a certain actor who transitioned from family comedies to action-packed adventures, leaving a lasting impression on audiences worldwide. In a casting twist, the actor initially considered for a role in a beloved family movie had to decline due to prior commitments, leading to another actor stepping into the part. This paved the way for unexpected collaborations and opportunities down the line. Throughout his career, this actor demonstrated remarkable versatility, seamlessly transitioning between different genres and captivating audiences with his performances. From lighthearted comedies to high-octane action films, he proved his ability to tackle diverse roles with finesse. Behind the scenes, there were daring stunts and intricate sequences that showcased the actor's dedication to his craft. These moments, though fleeting on screen, left a memorable impression on viewers, adding to the excitement and thrill of the movies. In the end, it's the journey of this actor from his early roles to his iconic performances that truly defines his contribution to the cinematic landscape, inspiring generations of fans along the way. In his interpretation of the famous spy character, he openly shared that his favorite adventures as the secret agent were from Russia with love and for your eyes only. However, he didn't enjoy on Her Majesty's Secret Service as much. Brosnan's portrayal of Bond was known for being the most lethal, taking down 135 enemies across four films. One memorable Bond movie, Tomorrow Never Dies, featured Brosnan in dangerous underwater scenes filmed at 20th Century Fox's Baja Studios in Mexico. Interestingly, these underwater shots were done in the same big tank used for Titanic shortly after its completion in 1997. Despite its action-packed storyline, Tomorrow Never Dies didn't clinch the top spot at the U.S. box office when it came out, facing stiff competition from another blockbuster released that same week. Known for his portrayal of James Bond, he brought his charm to the screen in Tomorrow Never Dies and The World Is Not Enough. In the former, a New Zealand broadcast toned down a scene where he shared a bed with Professor Inga Bergström. His influence extended beyond Bond, with nods to his character inspiring video game icons like Lara Croft. Early in his career, he starred in Remington Steel, where he played a private investigator with a passion for classic cinema. It's fascinating how his roles intertwined with the movies he admired. Pierce Brosnan's journey through iconic roles is truly captivating. During his time portraying Remington Steel in the TV series of the same name, he garnered attention not only as a potential successor to James Bond, but also as a contender for a film adaptation of The Saint. Unfortunately, the latter project never materialized. He holds a fondness for the James Bond film from Russia with Love, citing it as one of his favorites. Interestingly, the theme song for this film was sung by Matt Munro, who attended the same school in Putney, London, called Elliot School, although Munro had left two decades before Brosnan enrolled. A supporter of the English Premier League soccer club Fulham Football Club, he shares this passion with other notable figures, including Elizabeth Hurley, Lily Allen, Hugh Laurie, Hugh Grant, Benicio Del Toro, Daniel Radcliffe, Andrew Johnston, and the late Michael Jackson. In the world of cinema, one actor faced a range of amusing and challenging situations during the making of two notable films. A humorous moment unfolded in a scene where the main character, played by this actor, cracked a cheeky joke about intimacy using the phrase cunning linguistic in a movie. Surprisingly, this innuendo made a comeback in another film where the actor portrayed a famous spy. Shifting gears to a different film, the French Navy collaborated by providing a frigate and a helicopter, but a disagreement arose with the Ministry of Defense. This led to the cancellation of the movie's French premiere due to the actor's stance against nuclear weapons testing. 
and involvement with Greenpeace. Despite this diplomatic hiccup, Navy logos became part of the film's promotional campaign. In the same spy movie, the actor's fear of heights presented a challenge during filming in Puerto Rico. This fear prevented him from exploring certain locations and a stunt double stepped in to handle those daring heights. These anecdotes shed light on the actor's journey, encompassing playful jests, diplomatic hurdles, and personal fears, adding layers to a diverse career in the film industry. In his personal life, he is deeply devoted to his Catholic faith, regularly attending church in Malibu, California. While working on the movie GoldenEye, he made sure to keep a copy of the book Goldfinger close by because it held special meaning for him. In another film, The Thomas Crown Affair, the watch's character war was a Jaeger Lecolter Reverso, but without its logo because of an exclusive deal with Omega watches at the time. These details give us a glimpse into his dedication both in his personal beliefs and his attention to small things in his professional life. From his regular church visits to his choice of props on set, it's evident he's a man who pays attention to the little things, both in his work and his faith. In a memorable scene from a well-known movie, the actor portraying the lead character unexpectedly grabs his co-star, causing her to react genuinely. This unplanned moment adds authenticity to the scene as the actress struggles to free herself, unaware of the actor's intention. Shifting focus to another notable film, it's interesting to note its unique place in the actor's career. Unlike his other movies in the same series, this one wasn't released alongside a popular comedic franchise that parodies its genre. Additionally, the actor received a prestigious honor, commemorated with a star on a famous boulevard in Hollywood. These instances highlight the actor's ability to immerse himself in diverse roles, demonstrating his versatility and skill in the craft of acting. At 43, he happily welcomed his second child with Keely Shea Brosnan, starting a new chapter in his life as a family man. Beyond the fancy world of Hollywood, he found happiness in the simple moments of being a parent, enjoying laughter and love at home. His journey in showbiz changed with his role in Remington Steel, where he and Stephanie Zimbalist had an interesting relationship on and off screen. Even though they looked good together in the show, they didn't interact much behind the scenes keeping their distance. This added an interesting twist to the series and kept fans guessing about their relationship. Thinking back to his earliest movie memories, he remembers the excitement of watching Goldfinger, a movie that really stuck with him. Little did he know that he would end up making a name for himself in the movie world. In movies, he did a lot more than just Remington Steele. Each new role was a challenge, giving him a chance to show off his acting skills. And as he got older, he only got better at his craft, growing with each character he played. Today, his story continues to inspire new actors and entertain people everywhere. Whether he's talking about watching Goldfinger as a kid or enjoying fatherhood, his life is a story worth telling. In the world of Mistress Doubtfire, there's an interesting story about the character initially planned as a villain. The role, initially set to be a less than friendly character, underwent a significant transformation when the actor, known for his charm and charisma, came into the picture. The script originally portrayed the character as someone with a not so likable demeanor, planning to send the children away to have their mother all to himself. However, the actor's presence prompted a rewrite, turning the character into a more caring and likable figure that better suited their personality. The only remaining piece from the initial script was a moment at the swimming pool where some harsh words were exchanged. During the film, there's a memorable scene where the main character does an impression of a famous spy, adding a touch of humor to the story. Interestingly, the actor who played this spy would later go on to take up the iconic spy role in four movies. The director, a big fan of the spy franchise, had once hoped that the actor would secure the spy role earlier in their career, but faced contractual constraints. Despite this setback, the director recognized the actor's talent during their collaboration on Mistress Doubtfire. When the spy franchise was looking for a new face, the director recommended the actor in 1995, contributing in a small yet noteworthy way to the spy saga. It's fascinating how things unfold in the world of entertainment, with unexpected turns and connections shaping the course of a career. And that's a little snippet from the behind-the-scenes story of a beloved film. In the thrilling world of espionage films, one actor faced his share of challenges both on and off screen. During the filming of a particular movie, he encountered unexpected mishaps, including a minor injury caused by a stuntman's helmet. This incident forced the crew to adjust their filming approach. Additionally, interpersonal tensions arose when a co-star arrived late on set, leading to a brief disagreement until the actor learned of her pregnancy and extended understanding. Before stepping into the famous spy's shoes, 
This actor gained recognition for his role in a TV series where he paid homage to a classic film in one of its episodes. Interestingly, he later starred in a remake of that very movie. Life under the spotlight for this individual involves not just delivering lines, but also overcoming real-time challenges and fostering professional relationships. Whether facing an accidental injury on set or navigating conflicts with co-stars, his journey showcases the resilience demanded in the world of entertainment. From starting out at a small theater in York, this actor climbed the ladder to become a Hollywood icon. He even made it to People magazine's list of the world's most attractive people. But his rise wasn't without challenges. When he snagged the role of James Bond, he couldn't wear a tuxedo in other films. This caused a headache for the costume crew of a certain movie. Despite these hurdles, his charm and talent won over audiences everywhere. He's proof that hard work and talent can take you far in showbiz.